833 takes the tumble. 833 and Multicube are the best of friends. Not gonna go. 833 and Multicube ran together. They're, they're from the mainland to Sodor after about to get scrapped. Luckily, they managed to escape. Now, they work on Sodor now. Now, 833 will, will usually be out there pulling his coaches, just like he did in the olden days on the mainland. But, uh, but fortunately, so Tom had, had told me he had to do some other work until he could get his coaches prepared. His coaches just had to be sent to the wards to get repaired, and it would take a while. It would take like three, three weeks straight to get them repaired. 833 doesn't mind pulling any, any coat out of the coat, just like the Express. Gordon, 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 who's, who's usually, usually like to pull the Express, as to, or sometimes give his coat just to, to 833. He, since, since he hurts so much about him. But one day, 833 and Multicue Q were, at, were at the yard. Arts. Arts. Then, the work, a workman arrived. He had nothing else there to do. There to do. So he decided to talk to the, to, to the engines. Watch out, guys. Guys, he said. They'll be it. You might end up to danger. End of the danger, said Montague. What are you on about? What are you on about? Nothing. I just want to warn you. Oh. Okay. He, w he was about to turn, but he hit, but he actually hit his hand. He hit his hand right in, in into, into 833 cylinder. So, what? Watch out, you, said 8333. You might get my, my paint all scratch. Hey, 833, which is an accident, said Montague. I understand that, Montague, but he needs to look out where he's going. Wait. He said, said the two engines were talking, talked, talked, and talked. Then something unexpected happened. Been, it has been. It's starting to rain. It started raining. Hey, the fire controller came to see the engines. Mold Q, I need you to go shot some trucks in the yards. Yards for a while. Yes, sir. You too, you too, 833. I need a bigger engine to take some trucks all the way, way from, from, from the yards, from Naffrey Yards, Arts to Vickerstown. Yes, sir, said, said 833. But he was worried he'd be about the rain. Won't you already shut your trucks? He told the back controller. He are, you, they should be over there. Okay. Just reverse that, then the line to you, you, you collide. Okay. 833 was three happy, happy now. But oh. Oh and he got his number changed. 8832. 832 like his number. He wished he had a name instead of a number. So now he's no longer called 833. He's called 832. Uh, I wish I had a proper name like a proper speaker. He said. He said he suit as he backed up to his trucks, but he acted like bumped them hard. Sorry, simply he called. The trucks giggled. Clumsy engine, clumsy engine, he said. 833 was worried. He didn't want to fail the fat controller. So he had a plan of his own. I just wish I have a, a name instead of a number, he said. Ed, as he began moving his wheels. Wheels. Don't worry, says John. You will have a number one day. 
place. As he sat up with his goods train. Train. The point the seven knew he had to let the other end just come off. Puff hard until he was out. He's, he's out of the curve. He was about to get out of the curve, and then the big head of steam. He was almost. He was now out. Puff hard and hard and hard. Come on, oh boy, you're doing great. Eight three two was happy. But he was worried about it. About, about his train. He knew what trucks are. They had trouble. The trucks giggled. They wanted to pay him out. But they knew he's a big engine, so they didn't have to worry. They had to sleep, and they were worried. It's okay, 3-3, three, three. Well, you'll be alright, I hope so. Instead of, meanwhile, I yo, oh, passing the VAR, meanwhile, I oh, passing the VAR duct, duct, across a bit, there were two signal boxes, one was, he knew there's a train coming, so he felt worried, oh dear, he said, I must switch the engine off the line, but he was such an idiotic and Signal that he didn't realize he had sent the engine on the wrong track. That's where the trouble began. And <laughs> two diesels were shunting logs up and were pushing some logs further down the line. I it was not safe for engines to be and just like them, then to push yeah. those diesels, those diesels, black and red diesels. And yeah. yeah. those are the diesels that they're from the other railway. They had come for a visit on Sodor. So talk about where they should have lost. But being stupid, the diesels. So, so I had to push some logs, logs, logs right, right to another engine, to make because they hate their job. Let's push these logs. Hard to say. Yes, let's. Came back. The diesels began pushing the trucks back harder, fast, farther, 
and upon you until you be wet again. The days when you had done the most dumbest decision, had done the most dumbest decision ever. Now the, 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 the logs were being pushed back. Heck, they were being pushed back all the way into the mist. The, the station master saw this and decided to tell the other signal what he had just did. He realized now that the diesel, he saw the diesels up front and realized what they have done. I, I, I'll deal those diesels later, he growled. I should probably warn the engine himself. The trucks, the trucks were roaring down the track, were roaring towards the hills. Hopefully, they won't get into any more trouble. As they glided through the through the to the midst, to the forest, the trucks began to slowly come to a halt. Halt. Until they slowly, slowly, slowly came to a halt. Meanwhile, what? But, but unfortunately, that's where the trouble began. Oh no! Trucks are alive! There was no way the engine could stop. There was no way the engine could stop. He fit the trucks though. There was even more trouble. He was paying for the same to right the diesels were. The diesels were trying to escape. Go back, but then. It happened! Luckily, the truck, the tender, the tender and the trucks were, trucks were racing to the mist. 8832 eight, came off the, was derailed, and now derailed, and now he's completely derailed. Look. He saw his tender dirt and his cars racing to the mist. The, the trucks saw the chance. They tried to go faster, but the trucks, they realized they couldn't. Oh no, said, said Montague. I had to go stop the trucks. Without no hesitation, Montague, you were burst, burst into points. Points and mounts to chase those trucks. Quickly, quickly, said Mont Q. And soon, wow, another word. The little, the little green engine puffed as fast as he could down the track. After the trucks. Trucks. Ux. Ux. Going to be rescued by him. Soon. Soon. Eight. Eight through two was soon rescued by, by some great by, by friend. He was still put to the work. The diesel, however, weren't so lucky. The fact that had scolded them for what they had done, tried to do. Gonna do. You say he isn't going to send them away, but they're going to be under the pair for a few days until they learn to be a very be good diesel. Eight three two was worried. He was worried if Axel might be cross with him. Cowcat, his cowcat, cowcat just with damage. His, his, his paint will scrap. Oh, but Dick the big bitch, he said sadly. It's okay, so it's fine. It wasn't your fault. Yeah, said A32. Well, my tender. Sir, it's not behind me. I lost my tender. What, how am I going to take trains now? Meanwhile, yo, Montague was, was still being chased, was chased, no chasing the tender with all his might. Eight. The tent. But sad. But sad. But there was unknown reason. 
where the tender could be, but the tender was soon slowed down, slowing down. Down. And soon the tender was, was going like 80 miles per hour. 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 Montague, who had a who was pulling a passenger train, or while pulling a passenger train, saving who was saving the passengers while pulling while while ch chasing the tender, just saw the coaches. I see them, he said. He said. Whistle of happiness. Soon, soon the driver. There was no time to couple him up, so the driver had to put. So he had to push the tender, push the tender, some trucks that would do, some trucks, and his coaches. The rest of the trucks had, were, were, were left behind, so 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 no engine is going to come and collect them. Oh, 832 is going to be so happy, he said. Indeed, said the driver. So he, so he kept, so he kept pushing, so he pushing the trunk and the tender all the way back to the world. Hard to see until we can see the Brits of view. And soon. You arrive at back to your yards. He whistled. Eight three two. I found my tender. He cried. Hey, how you did you do? I don't answer any questions. It's a Montague. I just did. I'm just happy to help. Oh, so let me get my bastard to the station. I'll get your tender back. Thank you, he said. And
All right. My job done. Time to time to go back. Time, time to go back and get his tender back. And soon, Montague was pushing the tender all the way to the sheds. But, Mont but while he's doing so, Montague spoke severely to the trucks. Do you have any idea how dangerous that could be? said Crossley. We're sorry, Montague. We can collect the rest of our friends. Don't worry, the fact that Diesel Diesel's going to have a clip. But... I'm afraid they, they that my friend here, here will have to be sent to works works for a while now thanks to you guys. Guys. Really? A new engine? I mean, get that smirk on your faces. Yes, Montague. Now let wait, but who are you talking about? Said eight three two. Oh, oh him. That engine, well, he's an engine from, engine from, from, from far away railway. Okay. Really? Really? Far away railway? Yes. It's, he's very famous. Everyone wants to meet him. Oh, engine, famous engine. The Flying Scotsman? No, it was not Flying Scotsman. It was some other engine. What color is? What color is he? He's white. He's he's white. He's white. White. And he's a big engine. A big engine. Is he a steamy or diesel? Steamy. Oh. You don't mean that's right. That's right. Right. Right, said Montague. He's going to. So Tom had said that he would make fine things to his railway. He's going to collect passengers from here, here from, from the mainland, and Soto, Soto to the mainland. I, forget what I do. Yeah. So where is he? When's he coming? He's coming tomorrow. Oh boy, we gotta tell the faculty to get everyone ready. E. E. Yes. Yes. Otherwise, otherwise the problem have, otherwise the engine might not be a special around here. Yeah. 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 I, I wonder who the end. I want. I can't wait to see him again. See him again. Yeah, me too. Ooh. But, but I must say no more. Or, or I'll spoil the next story.
Freedom and Big Boy are two engines who were sent to help the Tom Hat from the mainland. And the only one engine was respected, and that was Freedom. The two engines meant well, but sometimes caused confusion. The Tom Hat gave a number 4449 and Big Boy 44406. But he was planning to send one engine home. His mind was, was messed up. Oh. But but there were three co there were coaches that be that usually belonged to to eight three two. But he was sent to the works. The coaches managed to get repaired or all, managed to get repaired. There were lots of coaches. Jeez. The back coach and the the coaches were all on their best behavior, except one coach. One coach. It was a baggage coach. There was one baggage coach, coach that did, took a dislike to freedom, like the big boy. Things always went wrong when engines had to take it out, push it in place. He never get used, and he got and freedom got big boy got blamed. I'm afraid. Hey, freedom was angry. You need to be on your best behavior. He called back there. He called. It's a leave behind I've been wanting. Okay. You need to behave yourself. Oh. You ah, said, 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 the bag, said the baggage car. I'm a sentry. Oh. Oh. Are you now? Oh. Are you now? You're done before today. Boy, you said you're done. Son, you want to mess with me? You want to mess with my friend, eh? Hey, how about I give you some? You want the bad number of enemies, huh? How about I bad? You're a friend. No. Hi, my friend. Want to mess with him? You mess with me. The, the baggage car behaved better than that. The net, but one day, day, big boy had an accident. Accident. Big boy was just about to go to the sheds. It's, he thought it was big enough. The rails were slippery. He couldn't stop in time. Ray, dri uh, driver, are we going a little too fast? You're right, big boy. Big boy drives down the brakes. Big Boy wasn't hurt, but the top man was very cross. I am disappointed, Big Boy. I am spent some clumsiness from you. Yes, sir. I decided to send, send Freedom to stay on solo and, and you can go back. Okay, I, I'm sorry, sir. I should think so, too. You're set by arrangements, Big Boy. Now, I'm afraid that, that Multicue will have to do some of your work while you do while you sit and think about what you've done. I'm afraid Monkey was upset with the extra jobs he had to do. He had to take all your passengers while all he take your passengers with his coaches. I'm afraid he won't like that. Oh dear, said Big Boy. What have I got myself into? It's okay, Big Boy, says Driver. It wasn't your fault. I was not paying attention. Not your fault, he said sadly. I believe. I should have thought what I should have think before I act. I act. I hope Montague doesn't, doesn't mind. Mind it to do my extra work. I couldn't buy to get sent away. Away. I hope the top mat is not right. But I'm afraid the top mat is right. Montague complained. Oh, all this extra work! Right. As he 
was jumping down the track. 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 He saw he big boy was nowhere to be seen. He would Someone must have called her Frank for him, he said sadly. I don't blame Big Boy for that accent. Accident. Meanwhile, yo, yo, freedom. There was probably another trap. It was coming around the bend. He has shut it. And was shut it the coaches. Away, okay, and now it's making his way okay, back to the yards. The yards, yards, yards. Montague, who Montague had already done his work, done done all the jobs, felt set for cross and both well, well, sad and cross at the same time. Okay. Freedom saw saw him. You saw freedom coming towards him. Anyone would think that freedom that that big they might think big boy has acted on purpose. You know, he said, I think I heard of a little engine that got defeated by a tram engine. Be quiet, Monty said. That was just a little incident. He didn't remind me of his own accident. Well, well, well. Surely Monty wasn't you who didn't say. Say, oh, oh, come on, Montague, says coaches. Okay, Montague, you can go do your work. Montague groaned and moaned. He puffed slowly away from A to do his work, his own work. Now he was running late. A day, Montague was delivering some trucks. Trucks in, 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 in Vickerstown. He's cross in the trucks. Let's do it like the, the, like the Frank car said. But he didn't know, didn't know, but Monkey didn't know that the, that the car, that, that A32 tooth front car was, car was, front, front coach car was, was telling the truck just to pay the, pay Monkey out, out, cause he's tired, cause I have to, cause I, how, how, how Freedom treated him, treated him. Montague puffed puff harder and harder. Come on! Come on! Don't pull, pull back, you silly trucks. I already have enough today. The trucks giggled. They care. They just continue holding back. And the trucks groaned. Grow, groaned and giggled. Giggle as, as they hold the, hold the great western engine back. The trucks... The trucks were holding it back so much, he, he couldn't make he couldn't make any steam to, to continue the journey. He needed help. He needed help. He needed help. Montague puffed so hard, he was exhausted when he arrived at the station. Private at the station. Private Wells were station. He was exhausted. Did. Then he saw. Then he saw freedom. Freedom! Freedom! He cried. Oh, hello, Monkey. Carefully. How are your day? Can you help me up the hill? Oh, oh, these jokes are that I don't want to get stuck. Oh, those silly trucks. 
Hooks. Don't worry, I'll help you, he said. Dead. Dead. He soon pumped up to the station to get this get himself ready. But when he heard the trucks, everything he what what really happened, Frida was cross. He knew that stupid great car would cause trouble. He's gonna pay pay when he can prepare him. What was that, Frida? Oh, no. Nothing. Frida. I'm ready to roll. But we'll show them who will boss. Slowly but surely, the, the engine puffs. The engine puffed up the hill. Puffed up the line. With ease. Ease. Multi puff hard and hard. Hard. The truck's on the back. We have two engines. They cried. We have a lot more engines to get them to stop moving. But but no matter how hard they tried. They try, I, 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 no matter how, God. He, Montague, he bumped me in the truck's heart, hard to get to miss, he behave themselves. Oh, the truck. Tried his best to stop, but Montague was going so hard, the trucks felt the tight noise. Go steady! Tried the trucks. We're breaking! Dad! Ah! They heard a big snap. There was a snap and a crash. Stop! Stop, freedom! Cried Montague. Try Montague. Cute. I feel. I think I see a crash. They, they, they stopped the train. The driver quickly stopped the train. They looked over. They saw one of the trucks' wheels had broke. Oh, and part of the trucks' trucks' sides would come off, and all the coal was, was about, and some of the coal was spilling out. Oh no! Oh dear, said Montague. Bust my bumpers, said Freedom. Oh dear, said Montague. Uh, it's okay, just Freedom, get me to the top, please. Of course, he said. As far as he could. And soon, Montague was able to get the trucks on the track all the way. Thank you, he said. No problem. Excuse me, I I break one. Freedom was Freedom was trying to think of a way to our back. Our back. Can't just bump it. Segment. Okay. Meanwhile, 
Soon. Soon. Soon, big boy returned from the works, but he had to he had to do some. Of, but because of a three two can't do his after run, he had to do it. Freedom noticed this and I was worried. Oh no, he cried. Big boy's gonna get himself into trouble if he doesn't think what he was he's doing said said but but luckily the coaches were nowhere to be seen ain't that's where that's where the trouble began and oh eight three three eight three two I returned from the works. Works with his coaches. Just, but there was trouble. The coat. He saw the. Hey, Freedom saw the coaches. Saw saw the saw the front coach. He crowd out out and began charging the coaches. Charging at it. And soon the coach he bumped the coach's hard. Alright, alright, alright. 832 was was speechless. He slammed on his brakes hard as he could. And soon the train came to a halt. Oh, the the, the big engine squealed as he screeched was being pushed along. Stop the train, he cried. Dude, and soon he came to a halt. But but there was a big splinter. It was a coat. It was a it was a coat. It was a his baggage coach wheels. They were damaged. Uh-oh. Uh uh-oh, said Freedom. I was not meant for that to happen. Uh oh, said Frida. Said Frida. Meanwhile, Montague was shoving along with his good train. Train. He was. He had heard about the accident. He. But even though he got the good, his good train, the fat controller was on board. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Said Montague, whirly. I hope this is not. This isn't a bad. Bad. What happens to my cars? Cars. Cars. And as for the old, old other freight car, they got that got splintered. Splintered. He was put off. He was took off the train and and it put it in the side. Luckily, Terrence attracted the mess and it cleared it away. Okay. And the patrol was on. The dog was on board. Oh dear, the monkey. Oh. Oh, 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 my, oh, 
my god. Oh no, what have you done? Oh, well, well, Bosques, talk to himself. What have we learned today? <sighs> the fat control looked out, leaned out from the cab, and gasped what he saw. Oh, gee. Oh, dear, he said sadly. Until soon, they soon arrive at the state at Wellsworth Station. Tom has grown as he went in. Going to win the cab. Have, have. I might have known be freedom, he said. But, sir. Er, he was grant. But, sir, he so. Well, I agree, sir, but it's something that someone made him get set. He, he looked at the bag car. Maybe the bag car might have pulled a prank on the trucks. My friend Montague told him it was a great car up the hill. The baggage car was speechless. I, that's, uh, I know my car has been lying. I have been told by Montague that he, Montague, Montague, that he, he, been told by Freedom, by Montague, he's driving them about Montague, told Montague, that he told Montague that, that this baggage car managed to make sure that he, sure, or Freedom gets sent, Freedom gets sent away for sure. He had, he had a hatred towards Big Boy and Freedom ever since they first arrived on Solo. Freedom and Big Boy did nothing wrong, and he oiled the traps uh, so that he, so that they could get, so that Big Boy could get the blame. And he planned to do the same to Freedom, the hill, because he, re he knew, reckoned that he might be at station. But they, I don't want to hear it. If we're in a baggage car, you are nothing more than a pathetic excuse for a break. For, 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 oops. The baggage car realized what he had done. I'm, oh, I'm sorry, he said sadly. I'll behave. You better behave. So Tom had looked. Look. But he was tough, sir. This engine could be the be, be new express engine for Gordon while he, in case he was sick. Ick, ick, ick. What I've been told by by Montague, he he almost turned that truck apart. He didn't mean to at first. Mean to, of course, of course, of course. But Montague said he had no steam left. But he worked hard enough for free. For free. He. I even heard heard from my yard from the, from from the works. That may be true, but two would have been enough. Said said Tom Hat. I ver I want to be fair. Air freedom. I admire your determination, but I don't know. I really don't know. Oh dear. So Tom had had to figure out what Edgy wants to send away. But that's another story. Snow had fallen. Like when, like over the island of Sodor. All the engines have trouble getting the snow, but luckily, they, they met all managed to get through it. Big Boy, Boy and Freda were sad today. Duck and Montague were there, as well as Eight and Two. Who? Who? What's going? What's going? What's going on to your cylinder? What's going on to your cylinders? Said Duck. Duck. 
I carefully. When the two engines told Duck what happened, Duck was speechless. At most, he was cross. I can't believe the faculty was going to send you two away. Hey, so stupid about some stupid big buffers. There's, there's plenty of those. 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 My, my baggage car caused cost some of them. Caused even more damage to their vision on the railway. Wait, that's what I say. Disgraceful. That's what I say, says 832. But then, an idea flew to Doug's funnel. What? Edward would. We've done that before, said, said Jeff. Huh? Those incidents, we have different incidents on this on this railway. Different incidents on the railway? There are two engines named Donald and Douglas. With the twins. They came to Sodor in 1959. Nine. They used to work. They they worked here on Sodor. They once came to Sodor door here and they here to stay. Sadly one one of them was supposedly here. The fact controller but always ever told us so. And then they were gonna be seen the way, but luckily Lee, Lee and then Doug told them the rest. As the engines were happy. That's it! Of course! We are dead with Asian. Then the Falcon Trolla came. Hello, Duck, said Falcon Trolla. Hello, sir, said Duck. Duck, Duck, you're gonna be our destination. Do it now. Do it now. Okay, Duck, here he goes. Duck, quickly. Please, uh, we want to try to talk. Well, I, uh, sir, they may be a destination, sir, but I don't like it, sir. Falcon Trolla pondered. You mean a desperate, desperation, Duck? Yes, sir. It, it, it's freedom and, and, and big boy. The, 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 they say if you send the away, sir, sir, it'll be to, to, to turn to scrap, sir. That that would be horrible, sir. Sir, sir, sir. please, sir, don't send them away. Hey, and thank you, Duck. That would do. Duck was relieved. Then the fire control came to see them. I had a. Deputation today. I understand your feelings, but I don't in in interfere. And I spoke to very to those to that truck. To those trucks, if they lay tricks on you two again, they will be sorry. And I told that baggage car what he's going to. He's going to be sent to the. He may get into the works, but I am going to make sure he's sorry. I punish him into it. To I put him to the shed of him of his. And he'll be staying for the rest of the week there. Yeah. Now, Freedom and Big Boy, I heard that your 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 jobs jobs around the aisle were good. You two should have a new coat of paint. Thank you, sir. But, but you guys will be taking passengers and freight trains all around Soto as well as eight trains from, from mainland from, from Soto to the mainland. From mainland to Soto. We have we have no more mistakes, don't we? Thank no, sir, and thank you. Wait, sir, sir, said Freedom. Does this mean for the both of us? The faculty saw a smile. It means, but his speech was, was interrupted by cheers of whistles. The two engines. We're here to stay.